from what's up gemini and welcome to my channel i hope all of you guys out there are doing well i want to say hello to my new subscribers anyone that's returning from watching previous videos i uh, thank you guys for your likes your shares and your subscribes okay you guys so this is going to be a twin flame reading i've already shuffled and meditated over your cards so let's get into this energy and remember gemini if something does resonate for you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe so we're going to start off with messages to music so we have seven street or next so I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you were dealing with an ex here, or maybe your twin flame was an ex or someone that you couldn't let go of, but I feel like you, in this situation, you feel like nobody wanted to see you with this person, okay? So this ex that you could have been dealing with, whether it was your twin, or just even dealing with your twin flame, you could have felt like this was a situation or a connection that like, no one wanted to see you guys together, okay? Other people could have felt like this was maybe a toxic connection, or they just didn't see this connection for what you saw for. Then we have next, Buddha love. You got the love that I want, the love that I need. So I feel like for some of you guys, this person had that Buddha love, okay? They had the love that you want and the love that you needed, and you were not willing to let this person go, okay? For some of you, this could have been your ex or this could have been your twin flame. So let's pull some messages here and see what was going on in this connection. What messages do you have, my Gemini's, on this twin flame journal spirit? Hold on, you guys. What messages? All right, here we go. Y'all, these cards is big as hell. Then what we have, ooh, thank you, spirit. Y'all see how my spirit guys love me? I love when spirit come through and confirms some stuff for me. We have clean care. I am stuck on stupid when it comes to you. I just said with this Buddha love, okay, this person had the kind of love that you was not willing to let go. So for some of you guys, you could have felt like you were stuck on stupid. Or maybe your friend, family and friends felt like you were stuck on stupid when it came to this connection. That's why nobody wanted to see you and this person together, okay? This person could have had people watching you on social media, or maybe you had this person watching uh, you on social media, but it was like you would get different friend requests, okay? And this person could have been making up fake pages to, you know, keeping tabs on you and seeing what you had going on, or this person had other people, you know, making up fake names, making up fake pages, trying to keep tabs on you, Gemini. What message do you have, my Gemini's, on this twin flame journey spirit? Then we have blindfold. I am not blind to anything. I just choose to see what I want. So you could have been dealing with this person who you felt like, or you felt like your twin was wearing a blindfold, okay? This is someone who could have been blind, and you felt like they were blind to this connection. They did not see you for who you truly were. But this is someone, Gemini, they weren't blind. This is just someone who chose to see what they want to see, okay? They didn't want to see who you are in this connection, okay? They didn't want to give you what you deserve. So this person just chose to act like they was wearing a blindfold, okay? What message do you have for my Gemini's? Ignorant. I was just going to say that earlier. I'm constantly in my head about this about my decisions because I refuse to see other people's point of view. Okay, so your twin could have been someone who was very ignorant, okay? Their spirit guides and ancestors, even family and friends, could have been telling them, like, don't be treating Gemini like this. Like, this could be someone who was going to play some type of significant role in your life, but they were so ignorant, they didn't even want to hear what nobody else wanted to see. This person could have been someone who was very immature, Gemini, and they know how to handle no one real, okay? This could have been someone who was used to dealing with fake people or people who just used them or you know abuse them took whatever they wanted from but they wasn't used to dealing with someone real so this could have been someone who like ran from this connection or played a lot of games in this connection with you so let's pull from this yin and yang oracle let's pull some more cards to see what was going on between you and your twin what messages do you have my gemini's on this twin flame journey spirit what message do you have my gemini's that's on this twin flame journey Okay, so we have divine time. And so I feel like, Gemini, in divine time, and something's going to happen between you and your twin in this connection, okay? But some of you guys, you've been waiting for your twin to, you know, to confess some things to you, tell you some type of truth. Or you've just been waiting for your twin to return. It's going to happen in divine time. So that means that you need to release control or don't try to worry so much about when it's going to happen. I feel like there could have been a lot of lying, a lot of manipulation, a lot of mind games in this twin flame journey. And I feel like because of that, you have trust issues, okay? I feel like you, you'll never trust your twin or you'll never look at them the same way that you did before. But Gemini, this was someone who, you know, that says no one will ever satisfy me sexually like you did, okay? So this was a very strong and passionate connection that you had with your twin. It's like, you know... 
you you done been around the world and I yeah yeah you can't find no one like your dog on twin. Then we have union. So in divine timing, I feel like Gemini, you and your twin will come into union, okay? But it's only gonna happen in divine time and I feel like whatever happened this connection or what type of energy your twin was in, you know, you have to give this person time to heal or to work on themselves. So let's pull up from the divine feminine energy. Let's see what was going on here. I blocked you on social media and etc. So I feel like for the divine feminine in this connection, this person unblocked you, okay? <laughs> so divine masculine, if you're trying to get in touch with your divine feminine, I don't know how you're going to do it, but this person unblocked you on social media. So they possibly unblocked you on their phone as well. If you guys had each other's phone number, they probably unblocked you there. So I don't know how you're going to get in contact with your divine feminine. Then we have, why does this have to be so hard? So I feel like the divine feminine in this connection felt like, why does this connection, why does love with my twin have to be so hard? Like I thought love was supposed to be easy, but you feel like this was just the hardest thing ever. Then we have, I feel as if I really don't know you. So this divine feminine feel like she really don't know her divine masculine, okay? This is someone who wore a mask, this is someone who was not showing their true authentic self, okay? So this is someone who came in under false like pretenses. Like they, they weren't showing who they truly were. So it's like now this divine ma feminine is saying basically like I don't even really know my masculine. Like this is someone I possibly had this strong sexual connection with and didn't want to let go of, but what was I holding on to? Because I don't even know this fool. <laughs> so let's see what this divine masculine has to say in this connection. What message do you have my Gemini's on the twin flame journey series? What does this divine masculine have to say in this connection? Alright, so we have, I was taught as a child that a real man doesn't show emotion. That means he's weak. So for some of you, if you feel like you didn't know your divine master, and I feel like this is someone who, who wasn't allowed or who was taught not to be vulnerable, okay? So this is someone who didn't express their feelings to you or express how they felt. This is someone that was like taught, well, if you know, a man doesn't express themselves or a man doesn't cry, that just means that they're weak. You could have been dealing with someone who liked to be chased, or this person could have been in and out your life, or they played a lot of mind games. I mean, we had trust issues. So I feel like you had a lot of trust issues because this person liked to be chased, okay? So this is someone who likes to be in control. This is someone who likes to play a lot of mind games. But it's like whatever they did, they did it so that you would chase them, Gemini. And then we have, we were not together, so I don't understand what I did wrong. So if you were trying to get this person to take responsibility or take accountability for how they treated you in this connection, they feel like because you guys were not in a relationship, that it didn't matter. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.